Alright, this video is going to be about simulating random variables in R. Um, the main function we're going to be using uh, in this video is the random uniform number generator. Um, so I'm going to talk more about distributions in another uh, theory video. Um, but for now, all you need to know is that this runif, oops, runif function will generate n numbers between some minimum and maximum bound. Um, so say we wanted to generate a number between 0 and 1. You put it in like this. And that's going to give you a random number. Um, and the uniform just means that every number is equally likely. Uh, instead, say we wanted six numbers between uh, 10 and 12, you get something like this. Um, yeah, so that's our unit. One thing I should mention with these random number generators is that because it is um, based on a just a computer algorithm, um, you need to do something that's called setting the seed. Um, set dot seed. I'm going to set this to zero. Um, in case anyone wants to be able to replicate this exactly. And then if you try to do a random generation, you'll get some set of numbers. Then if you set the seed to zero again, you'll get the same numbers. So the seed is basically just a starting point for the algorithm that does the pseudo random number generation. Um, okay, but that's not super important just for simulating random variables. What we want to do, and I'm going to try to stick with the examples from the theoretical video. Um, our first one is a single coin flip. So what we want to have happen is you want to simulate getting a heads or a tails. You want one outcome to happen 50% of the time and another outcome to happen the other 50% of the time. So what we're going to do is our unif and I'm just going to generate one number between 0 and 1. Um, 0 and 1 are actually the default bounds, so we can just say our unit like this and get a number between 0 and 1. Um, so half the time we're going to get a value between 0 and 0.5, and the other half it's going to be a value between 0.5 and 1. So what we want to do is we want to uh, map a, a value between 0 and 0.5 to, I'll say, heads and a value from 0.5 to 1 to tails. So the way to do that to map 0 to 0.5 to 0 and 0.5 to 1 to 1 is just to round this random number you get. So there's actually a function that's just called round and it does exactly what you would think. So round 0.7 goes to 1, 0.2 goes to 0. Um, but what we're going to do is round a random uniform number. And we're going to say a 0 is a heads and a 1 is a tails. So that's heads, heads, tails. And this is just a way to generate random data. Um, and then if what we wanted to do, you wanted to actually simulate, um, I said it was the random variable x equals 0 if it's a heads and 1 if it's a tails. So you can just say x equals round our unif 1. So here you get x is 1. Do it again, another simulation, get x is 1 again. So you can see if you just do this different times, you'll get a different result. So that's tails, tails, heads, tails, heads. Um, okay, so a more complicated one. Wanted to do five coin flips. So we're going to do the same thing where uh, zero is heads, one is tails. But instead, we're going to do five coin flips. So instead of one, we want five. So this is getting heads, 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 tails. Um, and you can see that you get different results each time. Um, those are just different uh, runs of the simulation. 
now we want y is equal to the number of heads. So that's going to be the number of zeros in a simulation. Uh, so one way to do that, since we know it's either going to be a 0 or a 1, you can use this sum function, um, like this, and you'll get sum of round r unit 5. This will give you the sum of um, one of these results. So you can see like the sum of this one would be 2, the sum of this one would be 3, this is 4. Um, and we're saying 1 is tails, so that's technically the number of uh, tails is this sum. If we want the number of heads, it's going to be 5 minus that. So a few different runs of it. Um, and that's what we wanted to say y was. So you can just say y equals like that. Oops, there we go. So there's that one. The other, the next one we wanted to do with five coin flips is the random variable z that's equal to three if the first flip is tails, meaning that the first flip is a one, and then if the first uh, number is a one, and seven if the first result is heads, um, meaning the first number is zero. So the way we're going to do that is I'm just going to say um, flips is equal to round r unif 5. So this is just going to be one of these um, little vectors here. And so right now flips is a constant. But if I do this again, then flips will be different. So the actual random part is when we do that line right there. And then to generate the uh, random variable, we can do some, we can manipulate this flips variable. So y, again, we could say is 5 minus the sum of flips. So you can see flips was tails, 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 heads, heads. So y is two heads. Um, now this z random variable, we want it to be 3 if the first flip is tails, and 7 if the first flip is heads. Uh, so that means we want to map just this number right here. Um, if that's a 1, we want z to be um, 3, and if it's a 0, we want z to be 7. So the way to access that number is with this little index using square brackets we want the first one so it's just flips one so that's one um, and then one way to map one to three and zero to seven is to say z equals um, negative four times flips one plus seven so now you can see this flips one, which is going to be a random number generated up here. It's either going to be a zero or a one. So if that's zero, that means we got a heads. So it's going to be negative four times zero plus seven, which is seven. Um, so then z is seven, and that's what we want. If the first flip is tails, this flips one is going to be a one. So z is going to be negative four times one plus 7, which is 3, uh, which is again what we wanted. So, do it like this, and now we know flips is 1, or the first entry in flips is 1 right now, so z is 3. Uh, if we wanted a different simulation, so now we've got just one, uh, just one tails in there, you can again say y is 5 minus the sum, and z is this same function here. Now, uh, y should be the number of heads, which should be 4 here. And then z, if uh, so our first flip was um, a 0, which is a heads, so we should have z equal to 7. 
There we go. Um, okay. So that's it for the coin flipping examples. Next example is going to be rolling two dice. Um, and we're again going to use our unif. But instead, we want a random variable that we want a random number that we're going to map somewhere from 1 to 6. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to generate, um, we're rolling two dice, so I'm going to generate two numbers, and I'm going to generate it between 0 and 6 is the maximum. Um, so we're going to get numbers like this. And what I'm going to do to turn that into um, dice rolling is I'm going to use the ceiling function. And what ceiling does is it rounds to the nearest integer, but it always rounds up. So ceiling of 0.7 is 1. That's the same as round. But if I do ceiling of 0.1, that'll go to 1 also. Um, so that's different from round. So our this R unif between 0 and 6, that's going to give us values. Um, if it's between 0 and 1, it'll go to 1. 1 to 2 goes to 2. Uh, all the way up to anything between 5 and 6 goes to 6. Uh, so there's a 1 in 6 chance of getting anything between 0 and 1 if we're generating between 0 and 6. So uh, again, this will that'll all make more sense when we talk about distributions in another video, but for now you can trust it. So we're going to do ceiling this R unif 206 and this will simulate two dice rolls. So we can keep doing that and get different values. Now what we wanted to do in this example was say x is the sum of the rolls. So we can use that sum function again. Say x equals sum these. Um, so here x is 6, do it again, get x equals 7. Um, and I'm going to do something like I did before when we set flips equal to a constant. And I'm just going to say rolls. So this will give us a constant one to work with. Um, so now we want to say x equals sum of rolls. So that should be 6. And then y, you can set either equal to 3 times x, or I'm going to say 3 times the sum of rolls. Um, so that should be 18. And then you can set a new, like a new rolls. time we get a 1 and a 2. Then using the same functions here, we should get x equal to 3 and y equal to 9. Uh, yeah, so that's it for those examples. Uh, we can get into some more complicated things after we talk about more complicated distributions, which will be in the next video. Uh, but if you want to get an R file that has a script um, that'll show you more about how to do these things, sort of explains it in writing, then you can find that on the website. Alright, thanks.